Oi. <laughs> okay, so hello again. So you were asking me, uh, <laughs> So you are giving me. The yeah, right. We were, uh, we were talking offline about uh, the issue of refugees. So the important part. Uh, about the issue of the refugees is uh, the fact that they constitute two-thirds of the Palestinian people, which is a significant number of people, uh, over seven million people. Uh, so this is not a, uh, a fraction of a population that can be ignored. This is the majority of the problem. It's the heart of the Palestinian problem more than the land problem. Um, these people have been denied citizenship and have been kicked off their land. And you can imagine what happened to them over uh, a 60-year period, uh, not being able to have a uh, right for uh, self-determination and belonging uh, to their country as citizens. So it's an important uh, element to solving the problem. And Israel cannot uh, flick it away as if uh, they don't exist. Now, to me, the real solution uh, dwells in, in a one democratic state solution uh, where both uh, Palestinians and Israelis can live. And that's the only viable solution I think can happen. Now, I'm not representing all Palestinian people. This is my personal view. I know other educated Palestinians that share the same view. Uh, uh, look, uh, it's not the a one democratic state solution the where both uh, Israelis and Palestinians can live. Uh, that's the only realistic solution I can think of because this is the solution that provides Palestinians and Israelis a, uh, a, a way to live uh, in a dignified life with rights for self-determination. Uh, the Palestinian problem's core is a refugee problem. Uh, a two-state solution if Israelis had the, um, the political will to make it happen, could have, uh, could have uh, marginalized uh, 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 the people who talk about the one state solution. Uh, but it wouldn't have solved the refugee problem. But um, uh, due to Israeli government allowing settlement to uh, to grow, the two-state solution I don't think is realistic. Uh, it's uh, it, it's becoming uh, the West Bank looks like a Swiss cheese with pockets of settlements and areas divided into A, B, and C, and it's not a contiguous piece. It looks like a, um, uh, a, a series of islands rather than a continuous piece of land. So what I think is, yeah, go ahead. So, so I. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, since we have seven minutes. <laughs> um, so I agree with the Swiss cheese problem, OK? I, I fully agree that if it should be a state, it has to have a, a normal way to uh, commute between the different parts and to move really in, in a state. So this is a problem that needs to be fixed. That said, uh, unfortunately, I am not optimistic as you, and I don't see this uh, a topic one state for all solution because of the history uh, of the Jewish people and the hatred between Palestinians and Israelis. So uh, if we, for instance, if we say that this will happen, what will happen is very shortly after the Israelis would not be the majority and then um, Jewish people will again won't have their own state. We only have one, one uh, government, one state in or country in the whole wide world, which is the Jewish country. And we got that after the Holocaust. And we got it fair and square, you know. But like, it's, it's, we didn't, like, it was, uh, it was uh, 
offered to the Palestinians and the Israelis. The Palestinians said no. The Israelis said yes. And then the day after, there was an enormous uh, war, and we won. What can we do? So, you know, but in any case, if we get back to today, it's, it's not something that the Jewish people, or the, at least the majority of the Jewish people, will agree with, because basically what you're saying is that in a very short time, it will be the minority. And that is not acceptable for us, because it's the only Look. place for us in the world. And another thing I have to say, this is the end of it, is that Palestinians are also came not only from Israel, but from other places. And for some reason, I don't see them wanting to go back to Egypt or, you know, other places that are, they originated from. And I don't see Egypt accepting okay. them back. So, um, for example. Okay, cool. Uh, first of all, I'm, uh, personally, I'm against uh, theocracies. I'm against uh, states that are based on Islam, Judaism, or Christianity. I don't believe the state should be based on uh, a particular religion. I think that's racist by its very nature. The second of all, um, fair and square is far from the truth about what happened in 48. If people that lived in a land for thousands of years were kicked off their land. And um, because the British, the power that was there, and uh, what the guilt of the Europeans of what happened to Jews during World War II, the unfortunate massacres that happened to Jews during World War II, the Palestinians had to, to pay the price for it. There's nothing fair and square about it. There's two thirds of my people are living off the original land. So when I talk about one democratic state solution, it would preserve the rights of everybody who lives in this country and allow people to live in dignity.